4186 Broadway. We have 2,000 square feet on the ground level and 2,000 in the basement. It's next to Rite Aid at 178 in Broadway. It's also Dunkin' Donuts, Marshalls, The Gap. Here's Citibank. Bridge Towers. This complex is actually over 95. Interstate 95. It basically uh, from the George Washington Bridge over here. Crosses all the way underneath and goes into the Cross Cross Expressway. This is the George Washington Bridge bus terminal. Um, it has a uh, GWB Marketplace. We have a uh, small space here, 300 to 2200 square feet um, inside and outside the mall. Everything on Broadway is leased stuff, but uh, we do have a, a Fort Washington space and a um, Stores are actually getting really decent rents. Walking to 181st Street, and I'll show you the transformation happening there. It's pretty insane what's going on. actually happening um, really a lot of the tenants are moving around this whole corner is being re being uh, relocated in talks about maybe uh, Chipotle coming here but I'm not sure if that is in the works yet <laughs> you guys are out working where's that guy Ishmael is here or no? He's in He is? Yeah. yeah. It's possible, yeah. I I wanna I wanted to talk to him about maybe taking a different space that I have. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yes? Hey. How are you? It's Navi from, from 181st Street. You want me to come back? The 720 West 181st. The corner? It's not the corner, no. It's the one across the street that used to be the 99 cent store. Remember we talked, we met and looked at the space. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. Let me know if you have a change of heart. That's a bust. So on 181st Street, this building was one of the first buildings, really, commercial buildings to trade in. It's about 40,000 square feet, and it actually sold for about $1,000 a square foot, which is was unheard of in the neighborhood for a long time, but now, uh, I guess it's more, you know, probably the most time building in the entire, uh, you know, commercial corridor. It's a lot of, I think it has some decent development rights, but there is space available. Um, call me up in the description. We have a, our phone number if you're looking for space in Washington Heights. So this is 181st Street. This T-Mobile recently took that space. Um, they're paying probably uh, over $200, $250 a square foot, somewhere around there. Um, some other big changes was Chase took this entire corner from 181st and Wadsworth. Uh, I'd say probably 75 or 80 feet of frontage on 181st. And they relocated from St. Nicholas, which is a much busier corner, but um, I think that they, uh, they had their reasons for moving. City MD, that's a brand new lease. They moved uh, six months ago. I was actually uh, calling them for uh, weeks or months, months to try to get them to take uh, a few of my, uh, few of my locations. But um, the owner of this building uh, is pretty well connected. They and they, you know, and they probably paid a lot of money to, to take to bring them in. There's also the Carters in Oshkosh. They took. Uh, uh, 30 or 40 feet here and then um, can't really see it oh well since we're on this side this Capital One Bank Jimmy Jazz which is a brand new store looks great um, they have uh, the first floor of the basement the mezzanine really modern nice looking stores been trying to get a hold of Jimmy to see if he wants to do anything on anything else, but I guess this is the only store he has. Foot Locker is here across the street, but I have the feeling that they are uh, moving into this building, which is, it's called that, the Allen building. It's beautiful. It's uh, They're completely uh, refacing that as well. But um, I think Models is moving from 181st in St. Nicholas. They're gonna take the second level here, which they actually have the second level here above AT&T. We've been here a while and I think that they're staying. But I think the owners of Rainbow actually own this building. I think they're vacating everything for Target to come in. I've heard it from some pretty reliable sources that they're going to put Target. Um, initially, they said 25,000 uh, square feet, but I think that's awfully small for a Target. But who knows? I guess maybe a small format. I know that a lot of these stores are vacating now. Um, a lot of them have liquidation signs up. Uh, Children's Place, I think, is going. They have uh, the actual um, the entire store 30 to 60 percent off. Jesus loves you. Here we have a children place here, and then Burger King shut down over here. I think that Target's going to take this entire 
corner where the Models is. I think probably the children's place for the entrance. And I'm assuming that CVS will come just because they're teamed up with Target quite a bit. Some decent uh, other spaces available. Uh, mine being one, uh, 1431 St. Nicholas, we have uh, 3,500 square feet. Right next to this corner, which is going to be Bank of America, from what I understand. And this is probably the busiest, not the best, but probably the busiest corner in the entire, uh, entire neighborhood. Well, there's the, uh, the one train there, all the buses back here. Again. We have um, this corner rented to Bank of America. So I've heard there's some pretty reliable sources. But it looks like a mess over here now just because of all this scaffolding. Neighborhood's kind of going through some transition right now, which I find uh, a good thing, but uh, it looks a mess right now. This is our space, uh, which is 3,500 square feet in the ground level. And we have, um, the sign looks like crap. I get those fixed when the scaffolding goes. But, um, we have uh, 3,500 in the ground level and 5,000 in the basement, huge basement. We completely put a brand new roof on, which is what we're doing now. Gutting, gutting the space, which actually looks great. Nice high ceilings, it's a few columns, it's a lot of power. Um, it's really dusty in here, so I'm not going to do it. are here because it's vacant. a national team but we're not stuck on the idea any powerhouse regional player uh, we're, we're open to um, co-broking we want to get the rent we want to get it rented for this season um, and I'm here uh, seven days a week at 917-418-4725 is my cell phone to so call, call anytime or www.navitimes.com and you'll see that in the description which will be the website. And here's uh, where Target is going. Bank of America. And we have the uh, the next space up. Um, again, it's pretty uh, chaotic over here, but I think that's kind of adds to a healthy um, retail market. People are still on the streets spending money and when target comes bank of america comes all this is going to be beautiful and new and uh just really excited to see the way that we uh it, it's gonna going to kind of improve the neighborhood i think that uh, there's so many small mom and pops i think we need something to balance it out some national tenants would be great um the neighborhood uh needs a lot of services. I think Chipotle would be a lot better over here. I also think that um, 
Burger King. I talked to Burger King about it. I uh, spoke to uh, the pies and it could go great. And the one train is right there. Those buildings like primed and ready for development. I mean, how great is that? That one too. I actually have some off-market properties that I could possibly uh, sell you around this area. Again, call me 212-928. I'll just focus on the sign for a second. Not be telling you stop.